Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you how you can easily detect any font from any photo and identify what that font is or at least find similar fonts that look like it. I'm going to be using Photoshop. They just added a new feature in the new version of Photoshop that allows you to do this very, very easily. And I'm going to show you some other methods that work as well. If you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So right here, you can see I'm in Photoshop and I have this cool text that I downloaded. Um, so it's actually right here. It's this font. What a lot of people don't know actually is if you have Adobe Creative Cloud and you pay for it, you can actually access so many, so many fonts. And when I talk about a lot, I'm talking about thousands, like all of these, there's like hundreds of pages. And so if you're connected to Wi-Fi, you can actually just select any fonts and press activate font. And essentially what it does is it adds it into your Photoshop. So in the new version of Photoshop, what it does is it detects if the font that's in the image is a part of the Adobe fonts library. If it's not, it's going to show you a bunch of similar ones that are and that you can download for free. So essentially how you do this is you want to just import your picture. You want to go to type and right here you can see match font and you want to adjust it so that it fits uh, where the font is. So you can see you can adjust these. Um, it's already right in the middle. So I think that should be fine. And you can see right here, this was the one that I showed you and that's the exact font. And you can see it also gives some alternative ones just in case they don't have that font. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally um, just keep typing in different fonts and they'll detect it. So we're just gonna make this bigger. So let's just make this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, right? So let's just say we have this, we change it to a random font. Um, maybe something they don't have like Kaluna. It's very basic. So let's just say this one. Let's see if this works and I'm going to merge it. So it's an image and it's not a text layer. And then we're going to go to type and we're going to go to match font, press match font. They might not have it. So obviously they don't have it, but they give impact as an alternative and all these, all you have to do literally is you want to press okay after you select like an alternative one, or if the font actually appears, you can just click on it as well and you can press on okay. And literally it'll be available. Or you can search up that font. So let's just search like impact. I do have impact, but let's just say we download any random font. Let me just download. L let me find a font that I don't have. So I don't have this font, right? So to prove it to you, this is going to be like a magic trick. Um, see, I don't have Zance. So we press activate font. Boom. That's it. Search it up now. It's right there. So you guys can see how easy that was. And also you can see in the top right, right here. It's licensed for personal and commercial use. Typically free fonts are not for commercial use. Typically they require you to buy a license, but you can use it for personal use. So you can see here, can I use the fonts for commercial projects or client work? Yes, you can create digital designs or print work for your own use for client projects. And the second way that I typically find popular fonts is through dafont.com. You can actually download fonts on dafont.com, um, but they have a lot of the popular ones. So like six, nine, you can see that, um, so what I would do is if you don't know a font, I would just search it up. So there's a custom search. So let's just say we search up Kanye, right? Maybe Kanye has a font. I don't know. So here for the yay cover art. So they say this is most probably not a font, meaning this is probably custom or someone probably wrote this, um, but they give you a suggestion a lot of times. So you can see it's very similar. Um, so those are the two different ways that I find fonts. Uh, let me know if there's another way, but I think the Adobe fonts library is very, very helpful for a lot of people, a lot of creatives.